we we stopped while we are talking about the third temptation uh, that Jesus uh, uh, was uh, um, passing. He was in the wilderness. Uh, he was tempted by uh devil and then uh the devil cast uh, their the temptation upon Jesus. Yeah. Uh let's uh, read this part again that we may remember uh, how Jesus responded to devil the third temptation. Okay. And the fifth verse, uh, chapter four of Luke, and he led uh, him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. Uh, yes, the devil led Jesus up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And devil said to him, I will give you all this domain and its glory, for it has been handed over to me, and I gave it to whomever I wish. Uh, this part, devil uh, is boasting of his power and dominion over in this world, yeah, because uh, he can do anything uh, in this world upon us. He has a uh, great power and authority and glory in this world. So he, uh, all the authority has been handed over to devil so he can give the kind of glory to whomever he wishes. It means we are also tempted uh, by this kind of uh, skillful uh, device and the Lord of a devil. So it is not easy for us to listen God's will from the devil's device to hook us. Yes. Uh, so we have to be in alertness to listen this kind of evil intention of the devil. Uh, what we should do. We should read the word of God daily. We are caught in the kind of power of God's word. Then we can overcome the devil's intention and the uh, purpose uh, that we might be hooked by him so to survive to remain in that grace we have to uh, walk in God's word we should be uh, supplied uh, uh, with God's word daily if we cannot uh, supply uh, us, ourselves, with God's word. Yeah, that is a spiritual word, or is a food. God's word is our spiritual food. Then, even though physically we eat and drink, but that kind of physical food and drink cannot satisfy the, our spiritual or is a uh, need in korea this day 
uh, so many people uh, are in difficulties of a spiritual problem, especially we call it mental problem. Because even though we have a richness in the material things and the economical development and then high IT technology, but uh, under the you know, great richness of uh, physically and bodily in Korea, but uh, Korean people's spirituality and the spiritual health has uh, difficult. So because we have uh, uh, isolation from each other, because we are uh, focusing on the kind of uh, uh, cell phone, the uh, YouTube and the digital environment. We are surrounded by digital environment. It is uh, not easy for us to uh, communicate and then have a relationship with one another physically. So we are only communicate and that we are caught in uh, the digital environment. We are separated from one another, even though we are uh, living in the same house in family, but between family members, we do not have a hug. Just sometimes I am in the living room and then my sons uh, uh, dwell in each their room. We communicated through the SNS. So, uh, so dry. Oh. While we are eating meal, my son's sitting next to me, but he is watching uh, his YouTube. I'm watching my YouTube. We have no any first cross section and then junction, no junction uh, between the having relationship. Yeah, sometimes uh, I think so without the kind of a digital environment and then uh, advancement of uh, technology and then uh, analog, the relationship is uh, more important and more precious, uh, I think, yeah. So uh, this uh, situation also, uh, only we can overcome through uh, the uh, God's spiritual food, that which is, uh, is God's word. That's why uh, I want to uh, empathize. Uh, that's why the reason I empathize, we have to read God's word. We uh, also be motivated in falling love with God's word. And then while, while we are uh, having good relationship with uh, God's word, then uh, God's word is Jesus. God's word is God. God's word is the Spirit, Holy Spirit. So three Trinity can have a power upon us. Uh, and his message, his word, affect can affect us spiritually, bodily, and then all mentally and intellectually. We should uh, surrender all our things and uh, into God's hand. Uh, that is very important. So. Ooh. To overcome the devil's uh, evil intention to hook and to make us fall, uh, that is the God's word. So we have to 
B and alertness. Therefore, uh, if you worship before me, it shall all be yours. Sometimes we are greedy in success in this world. Uh, last week, I, I just as I shared with you, I uh, focus on my life was uh, uh, focusing on success, the uh, worldly success to uh, glorify God through my success. That is a kind of a, a satanic uh, temptation also. I realize uh, why, uh, when I go to heaven, when my spirit is uh, gathered up by God, then my success, my reach uh, has uh, no uh, power uh, so that I may go to heaven. There, that is not the guarantee of my going to heaven. So these days, uh, yes, my the effort to be uh, richer than uh, this uh, has no meaning, just a nonsense to me. I realize in old ages, so when uh, we uh, realize uh, in an earlier age that when we are young, uh, we uh, can get realization of this kind of great truth, then we will um, be wiser, we will uh, behave more wisely in uh, making a decision. Uh, it helps, which helps uh, us uh, not uh, waste away our precious time. So this day, I want to focus on sharing the word of God, the word of ministry, word serving the word of God uh, instead of uh, focusing on uh, to uh, be successful in this world. This is uh, my regret and my confession before you and before God. So uh, even though uh, the devil is uh, tempted us like this, if you worship before me, it shall all be yours. That is uh, the, this king, dominion, this kingdom, and its glory uh, will be ours. That is uh, devil's temptation. We should get out of this kind of deception of devil's uh, to have right uh, alertness. Uh, from this kind of mm, a skillful deception, we need God's word because God's word is the kind of guiding light for us to sail uh, in the thick of darkness. So all the words are given handed over to the devil so we are walking in the dark the deep sea then the, the guiding light is God's word when we are standing on the firm foundation of God's word then we can see the light for us to to sail forward in a right way, yeah. So um, sometimes we worship before the devil. It means uh, pursuing the the devil's uh, uh, intention. Devil's intention is, uh, oh, you should. Uh, it is better for you to live 
enrichment and uh, it is better for you to have success in this world like this the kind of a diverse intention they will let us uh, pursue the kind of worldly glory so when we have right the uh, guiding light and the standard or the that's better when we can see the kind of God's words banner of sign, then we can go and walk in a right direction. That's why Jesus answered him. It is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Yes, Jesus answered the devil who is tempting with God's word, but Jesus uh, is overcoming. Yeah, this is the uh, second temptation. I'm sorry, I thought this is the third temptation. And he led him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple. This one is the third temptation of Deborah and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down from here. Yes. Oh, he is attacking Jesus with the culture for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you. And on their hand they will bear you up so that you will not strike your foot against the stone yeah uh last uh two days ago yesterday i read this word from the psalm this word was uh, at the in the prayer of Moses, Moses uh, uh, wrote this psalm. So in uh, the psalm ch uh, chapter 91, 91st, that this word, it is written in the uh, prayer of Moses. So, he will command his angel. God will command God's angels concerning you to guard you. When oh, oh, the God, our Lord Jesus, uh, throw himself down from the pinnacle of the temple, then uh, God will command his angel. Mm to uh, bear to bear uh, of Jesus so on angel's hand uh, the angel will bear Jesus up so that he will not strike his uh, foot against the stone so it means uh, even though Jesus throw himself from the pinnacle of the temple onto the, the ground and then uh, he will not have any harm because the angel will bear him up so he devil tempted like this and then jesus answered like this jesus answered and said to him it is said you shall not put the lord your god to the test yeah sometimes we want to know if god is uh, will be half or not when i am in danger so this day i am in great trial so oh lord please help me if you help me this time i will follow your will like this so i i think i am i am putting 